So, so all right. So you, you go out there, people don't know how to take you, but you then you listen, then eventually you open your mouth and people realize that you know what you're talking about. So we do like a little socializing out, you know, thing. Everybody says hi, because I, I'm giving access to all these high net worth, high caliber people, right? It's not just me. I, I just invite these people. So they all come. And then I talk very briefly. Uh, I used to do a lot of whiteboard stuff, like just break everything down, but I've kind of moved it towards more social, but I'm going to take my own little whiteboard and then just explain because people seem to really enjoy how it works because nobody else does it in Orange yeah. County or San Diego. So then I explain, uh, like, let's say I talk about a topic. I say like, it's inflation. I write a blog and then I say, oh, let's go into more detail. So I'll explain, hey, this is what's happening with inflation. They're printing so many dollars. What do you think is going to happen to the dollars you made for working? You know, it's not worth anything. They just print more. They always print more than you can make. So it's like, it's all, it's a scam. So I'm like, you need to figure out a way to make those ca cash and throw it into assets, whatever that produces cash flow, right? So, or I'll talk about something like what's going on with the interest rate or, you know, how to structure a deal. And then I say, you know, you can do all of this by yourself or you can partner with someone like, you know, like Charles or me or Grant Cardone or whoever you, you like, right? How do you keep but, mentioning that guy? That guy's only 10 years old. That, <laughs> you know what he says? Well, uh, he says- You mean uh, Grant? Grant, yeah, he yeah, says, yeah. and I, people send me this quote all the time. They said, uh, Grant Cardone says, uh, you can overpay for apartments because you'll uh, they the prices always go up. And I heard somebody say say that he said that. I said, well, he's obviously 10 years old because he wasn't around during the last crash because I got properties from the last crash that I can show you never came back in value. So, I mean, I, I can't wait for, oh, he's he's in for a rude awakening. Um, well, he's very polarizing. And, you know, he says a lot of things like I that know. just to get catchy, you know. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah he I likes to that. troll. He likes to troll. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I wouldn't put a dime with that guy. I wouldn't <laughs> put a dime with that guy. So, but, okay, so, so, you get up there with a whiteboard, you're, you're, you're laying it out for the people, you're telling them what they want to hear. And then, so I, I do all these things and I kind of close with saying, you know, you could either, you know, do this by yourself. I usually ask them if there's one question you have, you know, the one thing by Gary Carter, I'm like, what is that one question that will make you move to the next stage? So I always give them that opportunity. So they'll ask, everybody will ask some question and then I'll give them, try to give them the answer, like whatever it is, you know. So then, hey, what is it? Are you uh, scared, like how to get a loan? Are, are you scared you don't know what you're going to buy, what area to look? Do you need a, like something like that? So move them forward. But, you know, it's a lot of stuff. Like they, it's not possible for them to kind of figure everything out in one meetup. So I keep making them come back, right? So I have uh, this couple I really like too. Um, so they're actually, you know, they are they make a lot of money. So they don't own any assets. So I'm actually going to interview them on my podcast. Mine is not out yet. I, I just have four episodes recorded. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I do these things where people come, they kind of see me like, a, you know, some guy who knows stuff. So eventually, you know, I'm not really trying to get their money, but it just happens. It's like, it's like, let's say uh, you're a rock star and you're trying to get chicks, right? You, do you really have to try to get chicks? You don't have to. They just automatically happen because you've set up your life in that way, right? That's how I like to do business. Like I just set it up in such a way people will just, just give me money. That's so cool. That's, that's, oh, that's Vincent, right. you're a good guy. You're the only you're the only Hispanic in Southern India, right? I, I'm actually not even Hispanic. I'm I'm just uh, I just have Rodriguez because a lot of Spanish Portuguese settlers back in the day. You know, we had French, English, and all those guys. You know, settling. But uh, yeah, I'm just I, I, yeah. I, I, mm -hmm.